Thank you, President. In late January of this year, the Hong Kong SAR government initiated a public consultation to legislate Article 23 of the Basic Law. I wholeheartedly support the SAR government's effort to enact local laws that fulfill our constitutional responsibilities and obligations outlined by the 528 decision and the Hong Kong National Security Law. The restoration of normalcy in Hong Kong society is a testament to the effective implementation of the Hong Kong National Security Law. I'm firmly convinced that the present moment offers an ideal opportunity to press forward with the legislation of the Article 23 National Security Bill. Moreover, I maintain that enhancing the legal framework of the Hong Kong SAR to meet national security imperatives is a crucial step toward ensuring that offenses threatening national security are addressed with fairness and expediency. I eagerly anticipate the successful passage of the National Security Bill, which promises to comprehensively address national security vulnerability, foster a stable social milieu in Hong Kong, and more importantly, alleviate the public's apprehensions, culminating in an improved governance structure for Hong Kong. Such a development would not only steer Hong Kong from effective governance to prosperity, but also pave the way for a thriving future. It would also empower all sectors within Hong Kong to devote their energies to bolstering the economy. Throughout the legislative process, it is my belief that the SAR government has judiciously balanced the imperative of safeguarding national security with the need for economic advancement. Given Hong Kong's stature as an international financial center, the legislation's precise delineation of offenses pertaining to foreign interference is commendable mitigating additional compliance burdens for foreign businesses. This clarity is a vital factor in securing Hong Kong's economic stability. As we stand at this pivotal juncture of legislating Article 23, which coincides with the 75th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China and the fifth anniversary of the outlined development plan for the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, we can anticipate that the successful completion of this legislative endeavor will afford the SARs of Hong Kong and Macau more comprehensive legal safeguards. Consequently, the collaboration and development between Hong Kong and Macau are poised to enter a new era, exemplifying the central government's pledge to uphold one country, two systems, guaranteeing a high degree of autonomy, and securing the continued prosperity and stability of both regions while promoting economic growth and enhancing the well-being of the citizens. I earnestly hope that the enactment of this legislation will amplify the momentum for Hong Kong and Macau to capitalize on their unique strengths and attributes, extend their influence actively, contribute to the construction of the Greater Bay Area, aligning with the high-quality development objectives referenced by Premier Li Chiang in its government work report. I fully endorse the SAR task. The SAR government will lead Hong Kong into an era marked by even greater stability and a solidified social foundation, thereby creating more favorable prospects for economic growth and societal advancement. President, this concludes my remark. Thank you.